this time. The reason why I can create such a title is because you've been approved. You don't need to put down any collateral at this time. Unsecured post-personal loans. Unsecured post-personal loans is what each one of you receive when you do a home. You'll listen to that video and you will hear it being said that your home loan was an unsecured personal loan. It was not a loan for a home because the bank doesn't own the home. So they cannot give you a loan for that home. You are buying it from the borrower. You're not buying it from the bank. I mean, you're buying it from the seller. You're not buying it from the bank. In most cases, the banks have nothing to do with the home. So many unsecured loans have fixed rates, meaning the interest rate you are approved for is the only you'll pay for the entire loan. Okay. What type of loan does not require collateral? Let's see if home loan is one of those. An unsecured loan is a loan that doesn't require any type of collateral. Instead of relying on the borrower's assets as securities, the lender approves unsecured loans based on the borrower's creditworthiness. Every single time I have applied for a home and I received a loan for a home, and yes, I used to get homes for people in my name and let them live in it, then we would sell it, and so on and so forth. But every single time, it was based on my credit. Examples of unsecured loans include personal loans, student loans, and credit cards. Ladies and gentlemen, all of your home loans are without collateral, except for those of you whose credit is not that great, okay? Those of you whose credit is not that great, they will ask you for a heavier down payment or they will ask you for a co-signer. It is your credit that they are approving you on. Wait a minute. I don't think you guys noticed that. So let's let you read it again. It is your credit, your full faith and credit that you are being approved for when they keep telling you that your signature is the energy that gets that ball rolling, that's what they're telling you. It is your credit. And where they talk about consumer credit, ladies and gentlemen, is per se not consumer credit. But they get more kudos if it's consumer credits because if you have great consumer credit, that means that you're going to keep up, you're going to sit up there and pay your extortion money. Because you're not going to want your consumer credit worthiness to be damaged. So, here is the understanding. If you received a loan and it was a personal loan, and I guarantee you, you bring up the argument that this was a personal loan, this was not a home loan, that when I received this loan, it was an unsecured loan. This is the reason why you've been hearing people talk about the loan was unsecured. There was no security for the loan. They told you you did not need collateral. If it was an unsecured loan for which they gave you the loan without collateral, and then they made you put the home up as collateral later, that's called bait and switch. That is illegal. Okay? Now, here is the point right here. If you have bad credit, okay, or if the house costs more than what you are approved for, you have to put up collateral. Most personal loans do not require collateral, which means which makes them unsecured loans. Personal loans must be paid back over a set term, usually two to five years. The best usually, so we're not dealing with usual. The best personal loans will depend a lot on your credit worthiness and why you need the loan. It's a home loan. That's why you go through all those loan docs. Okay? How can I make, or excuse me, how much can I borrow unsecured? There's no limitations on that. That's up to the bank. Now, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, since most homes and most home loans are unsecured loans, they are personal loans, and they couldn't force you to put the property up as collateral, then you need to bring up racketeering and extortion because this is the practice of the banks. Don't bring up all the other junk that you've heard people say, because that won't get you nowhere. But you can bring up the thing about the assignment. The assignments, most of the time they don't do them. They're too lazy. 
they made their money. They don't make any money off of doing assignments. Remember, they've already been paid, so they don't make any extra money by doing assignments. So they often don't do them, or they don't do them on time. If there is one break in the link, one break in the chain, they lose because they're in breach of the agreement. Go back and look at the trust agreement and see if it gives them any leeway for missing an assignment for the trustee failing to do their job. Now, if you look at the deed of trust, it basically lets the trustee off the hook for everything they do. If you look at the deed of trust, it lets the trustee off the hook for every thing that they do, every misstep, every bit of harm they cause you. So many of you are going to have to go back in and correct that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, matter of fact, what is a signature loan? Most personal loans are signature loans. A signature loan is an unsecured personal loan that does not require. It means you won't have to put down any collateral in order to take out a loan. Most home loans are signature loans. Now, this right here, and I would strongly suggest that you guys put in the exact same thing Look up the exact same information that I'm showing you. The reason why I use Google, and most people don't know this, a lot of people don't like Google. Well, let me explain what Google is. Google is just a search engine. It's a company that made all of its money from being a search engine and selling advertisement on that search engine. Okay, Google is a search engine. It is the number one search engine in the world. The reason why Google is the number one search engine not because they were first in line. Google is the number one search engine because that's what they put all their focus on and being accurate. They provide more search results than anyone else. They have a pretty good algorithm. They've changed the algorithm to make things harder for people to find certain information, but it's nonetheless, pretty good algorithm. So when I'm looking for information, I can go to Google. Why? Because Google states its reputation on its ability to provide you the searches you're looking for. That's why I don't have to go through 12, 10, 15 pages, because if I put in the specific comment or and if it doesn't find anything under the specific comment, if I change it around by adding quotation marks or brackets, then it will narrow it down. So in this case, I thought this was going to give me a PDF and I would have taken the PDF. OK, now let's go ahead and read this before I go on. A signature loan is an unsecured personal loan that does not require collateral other than the borrower's signature, which represents their good faith promise. Again, your bond, your word is your bond, your credit to repay the loan. You may qualify for a signature loan if you have a good credit history and enough income to repay the loan. The borrower's signature on the signature loan makes the loan legally a legally binding agreement. That's the unilateral contract that everybody is talking about. It is a promise to pay. It is a promissory note. Okay? Only your signature makes it a binding agreement. It's called a unilateral contract. It is implied consent. The signature makes it implied consent. So don't claim that it's a unilateral contract and it don't no no. That's why it doesn't matter that argument. So stop bringing it up. But it is a signature loan. That's what you should be highlighting in court. This was a signature loan. It did not require collateral. They cannot foreclose on my property because my property cannot be held as collateral for this loan. My property may be held as collateral for allowing it to be traded on the market, but not for this loan. It cannot. This was an unsecured loan. That's why you hear people bringing up the argument of unsecured loan, but they couldn't explain what an unsecured loan was and how an unsecured loan is just a signature loan. And because it's a signature loan, all it required was your signature. It was your full faith and credit that they were borrowing from. It is that for which the United States was guaranteeing repayment for. That's why it's called the Single Family Home Loan Guarantee Project. The best signature loans have a low APR and no obligation fees. They can offer as much as $100,000 in funding and have payoff periods as long as 84 months. You see how they don't give you specifics, they give you generalities? Below you can learn more about signature loans, how they work, and who can qualify. 
you can also start searching for the best signature loans for you at Wallet Hubs. Pre-qualification tools. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we don't care about how signature loans work. What we care about is the fact that your loan was a personal home, a personal, personal home. Now, we were talking earlier about Google, and I said I would get back to it. And then we'll put something in about the personal home loan um, because it's called a personal home uh, loan or a personal loan for a home. I want you all to pay attention in the search bar, what I put in the search bar. You have been approved. You do not need to put down any collateral. Okay, now watch what we put down now. An unsecured loan for a home is a personal loan. Okay, unsecured personal loan, fast funding, and no prepayments. Apply now. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll find that, and the only thing it, it focused on was the unsecured loan part. Okay, we're not looking for that. We're looking unsecured personal loans, borrow with no collateral, what they are and how they work. We don't care. We just found out about what they are and how they work. We're looking for the, oh, by the way, they claim it's a secured loan because you used your property to secure it. No, not, not true because you were approved for the loan. They gave you approval of the loan. They even told you what amount you were approved for without you having collateral. So the hallmarks of this loan, every single aspect shows that it was unsecured and that no collateral was needed. You received the loan without having put down any collateral. Let's do that. Let's do that. And I'm just going to put that in quotations because I don't want it to focus on unsecured. Let's see, personal loans, rate in two minutes, no care, uh, no care. And it did focus on unsecured, how to finance a mobile home, park and drive here, uh, RV finance, bad credit archives. Uh-oh. Well, let's do personal home loans, okay? Uh, let's see. Let's do that. Uh, give me one second, y'all. Uh, I didn't know I was going to do that. So let's do... Yeah, well, let's we'll put you there. Yeah, I'm just going to get it done. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, an unsecured personal home loan. Let's see if there's any such thing as an unsecured personal home loan and what qualifies as an unsecured personal home loan. Ah, look at that. It says the exact same thing about unsecured loans. Personal home loan. Uh, personal home loan offers several will work like either an unsecured personal loan. Look at that will work like any other unsecured personal loan. So a personal 
home loan will work like any other unsecured personal home loan. Unsecured, don't care about that unsecured. Home loan investment bank. <sighs> there are no hidden fees and no collateral needed for an unsecured loan. Interesting, ain't it? How does an unsecured lo personal loan make? No, we're doing a home loan. Can you convert a personal loan to a home loan? A home equity loan is secured against your property. It means the lender can recoup your property if you default on the repayments. A secured, we're not talking about secured. Uh, and that unsecured. Golden Southern Bank, unsecured personal loans, has money available for redraw and had previous personal home loans which were paid out early. So, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, they do unsecured personal home loans every single day. Most people don't even realize that when the bank says you won't need to put down any collateral, that that makes it an unsecured loan. Most of you have unsecured loans. If the loan was unsecured, then why did they force you, pay attention, why did they force you to sign the property over as collateral? Because they did force you. They told you we're not giving you the keys until you sign these papers. And they had several people standing around you with official titles. You had the realtor, who's a part of the real estate industry, who was registered with the Secretary of State. Then you had the notary, who was an officer of the state, technically an officer of the court. And these all are standing around you as they're suggesting that you should be signing the paper. That's called intimidation. It happens all the time. Uh, as a matter of fact, you ever seen it when an individual is in a courtroom and the security staff will come stand around that individual? That's their job and way of intimidating someone. It is a known tactic. This is what they do. Ladies and gentlemen, we do hope that this information helps you in your endeavors and that it has proved to be in beneficial to you. We ask that all of you have a very good day and thank you for taking the time. Goodbye.